All right, this is going to be a little different. Uh, in the process of upgrading my CNC and my table saw to use my dust collector, it was already connected to my planer, but I wanted to be able to kind of get away from the shop back where I can and get some of these pieces of equipment that are shooting out a lot more dust, CNC, using the dust collector so I didn't have to worry about it quite as much. And when I did that, I unknowingly stepped into a rabbit hole. When I first switched over, I ran a, a job that I've run I don't know how many other times and it got part of the way through and G Center disconnected. So I started the job over, got little ways into it, not the same place and disconnected. So what I narrowed it down to was the static buildup in this dust collector hose was causing a problem with the electronics. So when, when you see static electricity will, you know, catch your shop on fire, it's possible very, very unlikely, but possible. Or it'll cause an explosion. Again, possible. Very, very unlikely, but possible. But to then follow up and say, all you have to do is ground your dust collection system. Now, I'm planning on going with PVC, at least to start off in this shop. And it's, there is no grounding it. It's an insulator. It cannot, by its very nature, be grounded. So, yes, I could go with the, the all metal ducting, but I'm not looking to spend that kind of money for this shop at this point. So, how did I solve this problem, which happened before the video showing this adapter. I added humidity to the air. I know it's it's a little out there, but static electricity is worse when the humidity is low. And when I was having problems, the humidity in here was right around 28%. If you can get it up above 40, you're probably pretty good. I've seen down in that rabbit hole I went in, I saw, you know, you don't have to worry about static electricity, just don't touch things and everything will be fine. And that is true for my planer. That is true for my table saw. That is not true for anything that runs on electronics, CNC, for me, a laptop that runs it, if you've got a tablet in here, static will kill your jobs. And the bad thing about this is when it disconnected, it had no idea where it was. Now, could I have gone back and reset X and Y? Yes, but it would not have been accurate enough. If I can't run that job, from start to finish with the same X, Y, I'm, I'm wasting material because it won't come out right. But that leads me to something that I did get and that I am paying more attention to now. And that is, it's a ThermoPro thermometer and hygrometer. It gives me Celsius or Fahrenheit degrees and humidity. Humidity in here right now is 46%. No problem running this thing. If it gets down below 40%, I'm either going to raise the humidity in here again or I'm not even going to try running this CNC. So 
we've come a long way in in the equipment that we use the prices have come down on this kind of equipment and a, a, I got a comment saying that this was a beast of a machine for a hobby machine and I've got to agree it, it is amazing for the, the money that you spend what you get is incredible the dust collector I know its limitations I know I will be upgrading it I know I will be running ducting in here just because I want to get away from all the flex hose but when I do, it'll be PVC. No, I'm not even gonna try and ground it. If I have a problem, I'll raise the humidity. If I have problems after that, then I'll look at what else I can do. But if you're having any problems with static electricity, and if you run one of these, you'll know it really quick. Try getting a humidifier in there, run it a little bit, raise the humidity so that the static buildup isn't as bad, okay? That's the long and the short of it. If you want to go down the rabbit hole, you can hate me later. Just start looking for static woodworking dust collection. There are people saying you can do this and that, and it'll work great. And then you've got people that know that there's nothing you can really do for PVC. Wrapping wires around the outside is not going to help the inside may help you feel better when you touch the wires, but other than that, yeah, you can drill screws every foot, six inches, four inches. You're not doing a whole lot. Yes, it'll do some, anything that comes in contact with that on the inside, but you're not doing anything for the PVC itself. And that's really the cheapest option you've got. So between jumping through hoops on that side and just raising the humidity up to 40%, I'm gonna go with the humidifier and it works. Before I end this video, I wanna say that the Thermo Pro that I showed earlier, it does have a Bluetooth connection and an app for your phone, works great. I've got one set up in my garage and in my shop and I can see what temperature and humidity is from pretty much anywhere in the house or shop or garage. So it does have that feature. Again, I'm not saying, you know, grounding attempts with PVC won't help at all. Just saying it's not gonna do the job you think it will or the job it would do on metal ducting. I'm saying, you know, my humidity gets low. I add a humidifier. 40% is not going to cause your wood to get, you know, just soak up the moisture 40%, you can still get it, get your moisture content for your wood down pretty low. Um, if high humidity is your issue, and here it is in the summer, or spring and summer, adding a dehumidifier would work. The key is, a lot of times we think about temperature and what it has to be at for our finishes, for our glue, all of that, not to mention our comfort level. But humidity plays a big part too. And not so much for the old school tools, old school, we're talking table saw, planer, joiner, sanders, those don't care too much about humidity. But when you start getting into to this electronic stuff, it matters a lot, okay? That's all I've got for now. If you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, share it, turn on notifications, you know, all that, all that stuff. I'd like to thank everyone who has subscribed. It's really meant a lot. Um, I'm working on getting more videos for projects I'm actually working on, not just shop upgrades, but I'll get there.